guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're watching the season three trailer for The Mandalorian. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, my name is Angela and I'm gonna watch the season three trailer for The Mandalorian. Like, look, look, I love Grogu. <laughs> I love Mando. Uh, I, I really want more of them and, and their wonderful relationship that they have. I want to see Grogu doing force powers, if not learning to be a Mandalorian, although I don't know how his ears would work in the helmet, but uh, I'm, 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 I'm here for it either way. He can choose whatever destiny he wants. Uh, it's a beautiful thing. But I think that this season is going to be more focused on the actual Mandalorians, like all of them, and, and how they come together and I, I do remember from the teaser trailer that there was various different helmets that were in front of us, uh, which um, means that there's going to be a lot of infighting. There's going to be a lot of questions about whether or not their cultures, you know, like like with not having the helmet on and having the helmet on and, and it being like an old religion and, and being more modern. I think that there's going to be a lot of that. And, and obviously, you know, you have to win the Darksaber in battle. How does Bo-Katan get the Darksaber unless she wins it in battle. I I guess I, my theory would be that Mando would lose it and then she would win it from whoever um, beat him. I don't know if that means death. I mean, he didn't kill Moff Gideon, so yeah, you could just win it in battle. You don't have to kill anybody, I don't think. I missed a big chunk of Clone Wars. I still, like, I was like, no, I watched Clone Wars. I, I think I think I missed... I missed some chunks of that, or at least I wasn't paying uh, a lot of attention because the Mandalorian lore will be lost on me a little bit. A, lo a lot of the, the stories in the background, which I could go back and watch it before the season starts. Absolutely. Um, but I'm I'm anxious to kind of get more into that and to see Katie Sackhoff just kind of command this role. She She's the perfect person for it. I was so happy that, you know, she was the one that did the voice and she has the skill set to play it in live action. That's amazing. I don't know if we're going to get any... Um, guest stars. We had, you know, obviously Mando and Grogu and Book of Boba Fett. Like, is Boba Fett going to do something for Mando? Um, is Ahsoka going to show up? I don't really think so. I think that it's probably going to be more self-contained, like, to the Mandalorian, which is fine by me. But again, I don't know. <laughs> I fear a little bit for the outcome of what can happen to the characters that we know and love. Um, I, I don't think that they're going to kill anyone off necessarily, but like uh, they might not get the happy ending they want. Like, I don't know if Bo-Katan gets to rule Mandalore. I would like for her to. I really would. But I'm not going to speculate any further. I'm going to get into this reaction. I've been dying for this trailer for such a long time, and it's finally here. So let's get into it. Our people are scattered like stars in the galaxy. What are we? What do we stand for? <laughs> Being a Mandalorian is not just learning about how to fight. You also have to know how to navigate the galaxy. Aww. That way, you'll never be lost. Yeah. Mm. So regal. The armorer, I I'm love her. Mandalore, so that I may be forgiven for my transgressions. May the force be with you. This is the way. Oh. <laughs> There's something dangerous happening out there, and by the time it becomes big enough for you to act. It'll be too late. Hang on, kid. We're gonna get a flashback with Grogu, aren't we, at the temple? Hey! This is the way. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Oh, the new music! Bone chilling! 
Okay, so we got we got our wish. We got Grogu using the Force right there at the end, defending himself. Um, but then you also heard Din, and I don't know if Din was necessarily talking to him because obviously it's a trailer and it, they 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 can throw you off. Uh, but context wise, it seemed like he was talking to him about being a Mandalorian and learning how to navigate the galaxy, and it seemed like he was letting him have some controls. Um, I'm first and foremost excited just to see them together um i i think that like that's everyone's favorite part about the mandalorian but now especially with with seeing all the different armors um it's like they're they're coming together and kind of becoming one because there have been like so many different groups that like were just always at odds with each other like bo-katan you know kind of saying that like mando's you know way of thinking like with the helmet was very archaic and, and cultish. And um, I think them coming to, we didn't even get to see her in this. Well, we might've, I don't know. Uh, there, there was like the whole drop ship thing that happened, uh, which was really cool, by the way. I like, there was so much to look at. Like there was like a salacious crumb that was in there that I was like, Ugh, those guys, they bug me so much. <laughs> just when you grow up as a kid and you just remember that thing, like it's just like this rat just that laughed at you. Uh, <laughs> Oh, it was nice seeing it. It gives you a little bit of that nostalgia. But speaking of nostalgia, there was the scene where you could see like sparks coming through that door and like the Jedi. And it looked like it was going to be like a, a flashback of like Order 66 and Grogu's time at the temple. Maybe who saved him or how he got out. Um, it'd be really, oh, I would love to just know. I mean, obviously we're, we're probably going to find out, but I mean, I think that that's that's kind of important information because if he was there <laughs> and, and no one ever knew and there were only two other species like him where it was Yoda and Yaddle and I was like, I was just, like, they didn't have a baby and didn't tell anyone, right? Like, like Yoda didn't have like a secret love life that we didn't know about, right? Like, so I was just kind of, eh. so I, I feel like him, his existence was a secret. Um, his escape was a secret. And then, you know, all, all these years into the future, you know, you have him becoming a Mando Jedi. Oh my God, that'd be so cool. That'd be so cool. I don't, I mean, I know that that's existed once. <laughs> I don't know if they'll let it happen again. I feel like if you're rebuilding Mandalore, that's the best time to allow people to kind of, you know, feel everything out and become who they want to be and, and just allow it, allow people to do what they want to do. Oh man, that's so exciting. It was, we got Grief Karga. Um, I, I don't think, I'm trying to think if we saw anybody else. Well, obviously the, I always forget her name, but the lady, Tracy, what's her face? Is it Tracy? The, the lady that's on Tatooine. <laughs> I dig her, I dig her vibe. Um, I always forget her name. But if they were on Tatooine, I imagine that like, they had to have saw Boba Fett or talked to Boba Fett or, you know, Fennec, at least. So I think like like it suggests that we might have talked to them and been there and that he might be involved. Um, believe me, anytime that you get Boba Fett, there's a chance for an old clone like we saw in Obi-Wan. Like even if it was a homeless clone, that was really upsetting. But actually, you know, I just think it's 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 a nice little thing to like a little touch to add here and there. Um, but this is the Star Wars that, like, you know, like, makes the little kid in me so excited to where, like, Andor, like, made the adult in me go, like, damn, seeing behind the curtain is, it's, it's, it, it was a lot. So I love getting the best of both worlds. Like, we, we can all come together and, and be happy as one. <laughs> we can have the nostalgia and the Jedi and the, the lightsabers and the Force and the Mandalorian, and we can have all the political crap and, and all that involved in one. And that, that's like what's so exciting is that the expansion of Star Wars, it just can go anywhere. We, we could get a Mandalorian Jedi that is a Yoda species. Are we ever going to get the species name for them? <laughs> I don't know. It would be cool if they found like a whole planet full of them, but at the same time, that's what makes him great and special is that he's so unique. So maybe that wouldn't be a great idea, but maybe, you know, him like coming in contact with another one that like looks like him, you know, with their little three fingers and hi. <laughs> I just think it'd be cute. This gave me cold chills. I think it's going to be a fantastic season. I will be here. I will be here. I'll be getting up at 11 o'clock, putting on hair and makeup and doing reactions at midnight. 
editing all night long to get them up for you before I go and I do my regular nine to five. But that's how much I love this show and the energy that it brings. I have so much excitement and, and so much love for it that it's just, it's it's worth it to me. And I'm, I'm super excited. So come back here for that, set your notifications, but remember to like and subscribe. And um, I also have full length reactions and all the other reactions to the Star Wars universe um, on my channel. Uh, currently watching the new season of The Bad Batch. I have season one already um, on there, but the full length reactions for season two are available on my Patreon, as well as Obi-Wan, uh, Book of Boba Fett, um, Andor. Uh, not all of Andor has been released yet. Uh, come back here Wednesday. Um, episodes 7 and 8 will be released, and uh, full-length reactions are, of course, available on Patreon. If that is something that you are interested in, that's where those will be. But in the meantime, guys, I'm so excited. Okay. Oh. I can't wait. I can't wait. Okay. I'm, I, I don't even know how to end this, so I'll just say Bye. May the force be with you.